Oh, Metroid we Prime. We live on the continent of Elios. Four realms surrounding a holy land at its center. A thousand years ago, our lands endured a vicious war with the fell dragon. We called oh, on heroes from other worlds to aid us. Heroes known as oh. emblems. With them, the warriors of our nations oh. fought as one. In the end, we heroes? were victorious we in just defeating got the heroes. and imprisoning the fell dragon. In the years since, our world tripping. has been safe. But now, I sense a resurrection. The binding weakens. I love Three Houses, and I love the Fates. Oh, whatever the new one was called. The, the last one. What is going on? Was that Byleth mixed with Roy? What is going on? Looks pretty cool. Very, They're going all out with their Fire Emblem main character designs. Especially with the last character. Uh, from... Uh, from the Dynasty Warriors type. Oh, Marth! Nice. The Hero King. I am them engaged. You're awake! Huh? You're really awake, yeah? A thousand years? That's how long I've been asleep. <laughs> what are those horrible things? If I leave here. You are a divine dragon. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a, a main a main line crime fan me uh fire moon game. The war. Looks pretty good. Fell dragon. I feel like I can almost remember that. I've had my eye on you. The ring. Marth, right. Oh, what the you can equip Oh Sigurd, You get a Marth me. stand? You get a Marth stand. That's cool. It is rather quiet. That's I actually know. pretty cool. But it will liven up as we gain allies. <laughs> the time has come. Now, I'm glad Marth is being shown off a lot right here. I love Marth. My favorite Fire Emblem character. My my melee main. My Smash 4 main. One strike will decide it all. Please grant me your strength. She asked me to gather all so the, the rings and bring peace back to Elios. So previous Fire Emblem heroes are imbued in rings somehow. Oh man, that looks that looks crazy. That oh January? Wow, that's pretty close. It's like four months. Hello everyone. Nice. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi. I'm I, I'm actually excited for that. I've never really been excited for Fire Emblem games until Three Houses. Was the latest installment of the Fire I played Emblem a few of them before, Fire but Emblem Engage. I'm I'm really into them now. In addition to the standard version, we'll also be releasing the Fire Emblem Engage Divine Edition. Containing Nintendo is starting to do these uh these little special edition Please boxes. Please look forward to more information about this game in the future. I think they've been doing it since the Switch has been out, like these our first special edition headlines. boxes with the uh, box art. I mean, with the uh, with art and stuff. It takes it two. It takes two to tango. I guess this wasn't on Switch already. Uh, this don't need to be. This don't need to be on on the, on the direct at all. They could announce this on, as a YouTube video. Tougher. When they're turned into dolls. on new games. To uh, get their bodies back, ports, they'll you know? brave an onslaught of challenges where working together is the only way forward. Team up and cooperate with a friend. In this actually, this might be an actual, like, good adventure. Switch game. Even the since it's, like, can be co-op. With someone by your side. Venture through fantastical and it is, uh, worlds filled with challenging experiences split screen. around every corner. In addition to single system play, the game can also be played on I would not be I would not wireless or online with I would not play handheld co-op like that no to normal. the screen is already like this big It takes two launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 4th Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop Forbidden story begins. Um, 
I forgot what this game is called. Fatal Frame. Didn't they announce this a long time ago? After mysteriously vanishing so. as a child, Ruka Minazuki visits an abandoned hospital in search of her lost memories. Use the camera obscura to repel evil spirits and uncover the memories that were sealed away. A dark curse looms near. What ancient rituals will be revealed? Fatal Frame, Mask of the Lunar Early Eclipse, 20, launches for the first time in the West on Nintendo Switch Oh, it's already out. Year. Somewhere. There's a new hero oh, the who 3. looks nice. mechanical? Was it Poppy? Introducing Wave 2 of the Xenoblade no, Chronicles 3 expansion Poppy. pass for the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game. This is Eno, a new hero. She appears to be, uh, Eno. mechanical? Complete her quest oh, to have her join the ether party. crystals, ether cylinders. Expanding your options for classes yeah, gun. and battle strategies. What is that? That's cool. Challenge battles. It's kind of like Poppy. Oh, challenge Test battles. Your nice. consecutive battles against top enemies. I might stream that. Defeat all enemy I haven't played the game rewards. since I beat it. I haven't even gotten uh, even the the last two heroes. And special outfits. Oh. That uni costume. More hero oh my god. Additions will arrive in wave three. Wave two of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 expansion. October 13th. Pass launches okay. on Nintendo Switch. October Why? 13th. Oh my gosh. That's. Get drawn no. Into these no, 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 no. I'm thinking Switch about November. Games. Okay. I don't Never think anything's coming out next month, really. SpongeBob and Patrick make a wish that unravels the very fabric of the universe. In this 3D platforming adventure, Why is Patrick uh, portals to seven uh, outlandish wish worlds like prehistoric kelp forest and wild west jellyfish fields. Explore using all sorts of wacky moves. Why is Patrick uh, fantastic the, the thing from and meet your favorite bikini from, uh, residents from the TV series uh, Ocarina of Time? I forgot the, the little so fairy's name. SpongeBob SquarePants, the Cosmic Shake, launching on Nintendo Switch next year. You're all ready. Oh. Inchiro. Oh, characters. what is this? Oh, Fist of the North Star. They'll be your oh my. in exercise mode. Leading you through what various boxing drills. Come on now. As many as I thought they were bringing uh, the Fist of the North Star game to the Switch, mode. which I have it already on PS4. But in boss battles, including Jaggy, fitness boxing, Why? Fist of the North Star launches on Nintendo Switch. Do they blow up at least? I doubt it. This ain't your uncle's dodgeball. I doubt they blow oh, up at all. It looks like a hard hitting uh, party game. A watered down this is a North Star game. Each one featuring ridiculous rules. Now I thought that it was gonna be a sequel to the, your character to the to other uh, of accessories. Plus game. challenge up to six friends and frenemies in local and online play. They I've been wanting to play the Fist of the North Star Our game again. Launches on Nintendo Switch um, early next year. That was made by the RGG Studios. Fox Tunic is out on Switch Ruin already? Island. Brave the unknown Ow. in this isometric action adventure game. Your only clue here is the manual. Traverse the island's interconnected realms to retrieve its missing pages. I thought this game was on Switch already. I thought this. I think dangerous this... traps oh, and even more dangerous monsters lurk around every corner. What long lost secrets will the island reveal? Tunic launches on the Nintendo Switch system September 27th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. New Intel has arrived for these Front Mission remakes. Full remakes of two Front Mission games are storming in. In Front Mission 1 Remake, you'll pilot giant machines called um, Bonzers in tactical turn-based combat. Game. As you progress, you'll obtain skills that can help you gain the upper hand against opponents. You can also test your metal at the Coliseum. Continue the battle in the sequel, previously unreleased outside of Japan. Take advantage of additional features like more terrain effects. Why does that look like it's, a, it's in 60 frames? And over 80 new skills added from the first game. Front Mission 1 Remake launches on Nintendo Switch this November. 
Battlefront Mission 2 Remake will launch on Nintendo Switch next year. And in the future, a remake of Front Mission 3 will also launch on Nintendo Switch. In the future. I thought they were talking about only winter games. It's a wonderful life for a new generation. What world is this? After nearly 20 years, a beloved farming experience is reborn. Welcome back to Forgotten Valley. Here, you'll manage a farm passed down to you by your father. Restore and expand your farm as you nurture crops. Care for your friendly animals and help the land flourish. Befriend the townsfolk while you're out and about in the valley. You might even meet your future partner and start a family. Uh, they look like in children. this installment, those around you will grow older as time goes on. Their appearances will change over the years. He doesn't get taller though. Your what? child will also choose their career based on how you raise them. An especially wonderful farm life in Forgotten Valley lies ahead. Story of Seasons, a wonderful life launches on Nintendo All Switch, right. summer 2023. Interesting game. Platoon 3. Why'd they have to make her like that? Why they gotta make a uh, cry like that? Flatfish. The first post-launch Splatfest. Well, I was correct. We got Splatoon 3 and Xenoblade 3 stuff Here's today. The what would Gear, you grub, to farm. a deserted island. Gear, grub, or fun? Hmm. Eating, uh, protecting myself, or fun, I get. So many incredible possibilities. Which team will you join? More free updates are planned for Splatoon 3. Be on the lookout for more info in the future. So, Squids, what did you think? What would you bring to a deserted island? As for me, I've already decided. I hope you'll all participate as well. Yes, yeah, sure. Next, please take a look at this. He was very, that was a very vigorous uh, snap. Wearing it. Oh, uh, Octopath 2? Octopath 2. Oh, it is Octopath 2, okay. Introducing I haven't even beaten the first game, man. Octopath Traveler series. I'm like. More than halfway through the game. Eight new travelers embark on a journey through the land of Celestia. That's a cool little cowboy. That but that that look, there's Neo right there or Nia. But the cat girl. A star and bring smiles to dancer, faces. another dancer. Like I'm hitting the road. I'll be back once I Oh, oh I guess they all have the same classes. The man who took everything from me shall die by my hand. Not again. Um, I really enjoyed. I played. I started with the dancer. I forgot her name. I started with the dancer in my first uh, one, my playthrough. All the tasty meat you want. I need to rediscover who I am. She has. She's like my my most my most powerful character. I forgot her name. Set in a bustling era. She's a pretty cool character. Action differs between day and night. Knows well the ways of the world. What will happen when their paths intertwine? What's that big round? Hopefully, this time they have and what the party interact them more. Because in you don't, world. your party never interacts almost at all, which is weird. Travelers each have their own story to tell. Where will their journeys lead them? And you. But the the graphics and whatever Square Enix did with these graphics is incredible. Uh, hopefully we get. No, I I doubt we'll get um. Wow, that's five months from now. 
What you just saw was Octopath Traveler. Where's Where's Dragon Quest Square Three the remake? Please look forward to the journeys of eight new heroes. Let's see some more headlines. A magical home is waiting for you. Can we just see this? What is this? Welcome to your new fairy tale life in Fay Farm. Cultivate your homestead and forge everlasting what is this, uh, action RPG uh, RPG uh Animal Crossing discover magical spells to grow like, crops it probably it probably this game probably won't have as much longevity as uh Animal Crossing and explore the enchanted realms of Azoria along the way maybe you will friend a lively cast of characters who call this island their home tend and grow your fairy tale farmstead solo or together with up to four players in local or online multiplayer by gathering resources and crafting items you'll be able to customize your home and enjoy this mesmerizing adventure even more as the seasons change new spellbinding surprises can be unlocked that'll help you restore azoria to its natural splendor magic awaits in fay farm Launching exclusively Some of these on Nintendo uh, Switch games just seem so. I don't know. It's a musical oh. blast from the past. Uh, Final Fantasy Theat the Rhythm, whatever it's called. The Final Fantasy series with the latest theater rhythm game. The Theat the Rhythm. I never, I never like realized how to. I mean, understood how to Toward pronounce that word. Suteki Dane and more. I'm surprised they took this long for this to come on Switch. Songs, total. songs are categorized by game, so you can play each stage while experiencing the series through the music. In addition, two players locally can complete stages in pair style, while up to four players can battle to the beat in online multi battle. Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line Theater, theater Rhythm the Nintendo Switch System February 16th I thought it was like the at, the at Rhythm the at today Rhythm on Nintendo like eShop After the game's launch pay DLC songs from the Saga series Hey DLC oh Near series Here Octopath Traveler Live Alive and more will be released That's 90 additional songs Plus, additions containing I, season I think pass I, I played the demo of the one on 3DS. Including melodies of love type of game. will be available. I mean, it's a, it's pretty cool. It's a Final Fantasy music, but Cosmic Adventure is just oh my. around the corner. Whatever. We we just Blast got off on an adventure a, of galactic proportions and, uh, with Mario Ubisoft just talked about this game. Let's I guess it's a Nintendo game, also still. Freely roam through all sorts of wondrous worlds. Each one. Do we see the enemies on the map now, or what? Find coins. Unlock hidden paths. And help out the locals with their troubles. At shops, you can get items that'll come in handy during battles. After oh, you each quest there's actually battle, shops now? your team will earn rewards and get stronger. Sparks are here to lend a helping hand. Recruit up to 30 different sparks, each with their own special powers and skills. They can help spark a decisive victory. I, did, I still haven't beaten the, the first game. Can Mario and the I was having a lot of fun with it, to but... The darkness? It just got Mario a little bit too difficult Rabbit, for me. Hope, on Even though I really Switch enjoyed it. Are now on I'll probably Nintendo get this game when it goes on sale or something. A gold edition can also be pre-ordered. Containing the base game, weapon skins, and a season pass. Restore peace between humans and monsters. Rune Factory 3 returns on Nintendo Switch. This is like Switch. the third game like this. Ah, I guess not. Take a break from quests to chat with the locals, cultivate crops, and oh, care mind. for monsters. Among other relaxing activities. We just saw this game like you can two also games transform ago. transform into a monster? Your abilities in battle and conversations with the locals will vary depending on your form. 
Your choices will also cause different events to occur. Plus, a brand new mode has been added to help you enjoy more quality time with your in-game spouse. Rune Factory 3 Special launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Plus, a new Rune Factory series will launch in the future. More I don't even have the N64 uh, on the Switch online. Pilot Wings 64. No music? Are you Mario kidding? Party. Mario Party? Mario Party 2. Wow. Mario Party 3. Wow. Pokemon Stadium. Ooh, Pokemon Stadium. That's cool. Pokemon Stadium 2. Oh, nice. 1080 snow. How's that gonna work with the Switch con Pro Control? You're gonna have to like. Excite Bike 64. These games will gradually be added in the future. Oh. Pokemon Stadium 3. I mean, Pokemon Stadium 3. Pokemon Stadium 2 all the way in 2023. With an active Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion. They didn't even announce it. Whatever. Oh, I don't know. And there's one more game we should mention. Glover? Oh. Metroid? No, it's not Metroid. What the? GoldenEye? Hopefully it's online. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's cool. I love playing GoldenEye on 64. Why not mix things up with these Nintendo Switch games? Live your best life on the newly discovered continent of Antoesia in this immersive RPG. Square Enix, come on now. They have, Square Enix has so many games coming out, it's not even funny. It's not even funny. In doing so, on everything. Access to different job classes and abilities. I wonder how big a of a company Square Enix is. Awaits. Square Enix, Square Enix. Various Daylight launches on Nintendo Switch later today. This is like the fourth game of Square Enix we've seen today. A malfunction not that, I, you to crash not that I'm complaining, but they need to. Planet. I wish they would focus on rocket from scratch the main game. Management sim game. Maybe they do, and they have like scour the planet for materials. Other companies or other to developers to make the games or something. Eventually, you'll construct multiple production lines like these. Oh, the planet's creatures will attack, so keep them at bay. Factorio launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. A young girl named Ib visits an art museum with her parents in this 2D exploration adventure. She wanders through a busy gallery by the artist Guertena until one particular piece draws her in. What is this, Dragon Quest XI? What is this? Will she be able to safely return to her own world? Every decision affects her fate in Ib, launching on Nintendo Switch Spring 2023. What in the world? Mario Battle League. Oh, I forgot about this game. On one I'm get glad I didn't get this game. Second free update. Joining the roster are Pauline, a physical powerhouse with fast movements and strong tackles. And Diddy Kong, a midfield speedster with dazzling techniques and high pass accuracy. Plus, more gear and another stadium are being added. The second free update launches this month. The final summer begins. What is this? Genshin Impact? What is this? I don't know if this is Genshin or not. When strange oh, no. islands suddenly appear, <laughs> Ryza and friends Definitely not. to investigate in order to protect their homeland from impending danger. Sprawling landscapes set the stage for your adventure. Freely explore this vast world and forge your own path in this charming RPG. Eleven heroes from all walks of life will join your party. During battle, work with your allies to activate various skills, which can be swapped out when needed. Teamwork is paramount after all. New features are also in store. 
The keys to this lively the adventure Hearts? are in your hands. <laughs> Atelier Rise of Three, Alchemist of the End and the Secret Key launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 24th, 2023. They're really pushing that winter uh, uh, envelope. Wave three is on the way. Here's a sneak I figured they were going to talk about Mario Kart 8. To wave three. Mary Melton from Mario DLC. Kart Tour. Mario Kart Tour, the mobile game. Peach Gardens from Mario Kart DS. I guess eventually they'll put in like every Mario Kart map Wave under the sun of the Mario in the game because they I don't know how many course pass, course pass, I don't even know how many Mario courses game, uh, or waves holiday. they have originally I, I thought it was like a lot of them like 10 of them or something members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost the DLC can also be purchased on its own this shit has made a new game with new courses how was that but whatever next we have some news to share about Nintendo switch sports sports in the next free update, golf will be added. I don't know what this is. What is this? Of course, you can play these locally. Additionally, up to eight players online can play at the same time on the same course in survival golf. Those with the most strokes will be out. We previously announced that the update would release this fall. However, we'd like a bit more time for development, so the update is now planned for this holiday. Please wait just a little longer. Next, we have a special guest. Mr. Miyamoto! Hello, it's been Shigeru a while. Miyamoto. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. I have a few things I'd like to share with you today, including some news. First, as you may have heard, the Super Mario Brothers animated movie we're developing with Chris Melodandri uh -oh. from Illumination will release next spring. Spring? And Super Nintendo World, which is entering its second year at Universal Studios Japan, will also open in Hollywood, California in the U.S. Recently, we've been working on the finishing touches for both. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about Pikmin. Pikmin? It's been over 20 years since the first game, and we're still working on the series. This is Pikmin oh. Bloom. It's a smart device <laughs> game we started I have the, I have this. late last year. I played a decent amount of it. It's fun, but... Flowers. Here's a quick rundown of the game for those who have yet to play it. Pikmin Bloom is a smart device game that uses your location. By walking outside, you can find Pikmin, raise them, and plant flowers together. I haven't played it. I haven't played that in like you almost a year. Or outings. You can look back at the end of the day and see where you walked. Send out Pikmin and collect the items they found that day. And feed them nectar to increase their petals. So how many steps did we take today? While you're out and about, you can also use the AR feature to take photos with Pikmin. Pikmin are all around you. Let's take a quick look at my screen. I have nearly 700 Pikmin. They love nectar. Why are they you showing this? Pikmin nectar like you see here. <laughs> this is like, uh, this game's been out for like a year already. You'll also see the number of steps you've taken that day. Regarding the map, the clouds will clear along the path you walk, so you can keep a record of locations you've visited. I normally move around within Kyoto, but I've also been going to Osaka, to Universal Studios Japan. I occasionally go to Tokyo as well. You'll say to yourself, okay, this time I'll try walking here. It makes trips and walks a lot of fun. It's a very easygoing play experience you can enjoy just by taking it with you. I hope you'll try it out. Okay, now to the main event. Please take a look at this. Okay, Pikmin, four. I 
I never played any of the Pikmin games. 2023. That's it. You call that the That's main right. event? Pikmin 4 will launch in 2023. We won't be showing any gameplay today. However, you'll be able to play like this from the Pikmin's perspective near the ground. Why, why not just show it? New why not just show it? Nintendo I don't Switch understand. Controlling the you have the picture. Simple, meaning you can further concentrate on the core essence of Pikmin gameplay. We call it Dandori in Japanese, or strategically planning, deploying, and commanding the Pikmin. I hope you're all looking forward to Pikmin 4. Thank you. Is Pik I think Pikmin 3 Deluxe or something is on Switch. Thank you very much, Mr. I don't know Mio. if I ever play them, but... Now, let's move on to some more headlines. Take your dancing game Just dance. to the next level. 20... whatever. 20, uh, 22, 2023. Oh, uh, 2023. Oh. <laughs> I forgot about the DMCA stuff. I'm not used to live streaming uh special events stuff. I've I played like one or two just dances. I don't dance, so I don't have any. It's definitely not my type of game. Can you survive the season of death? Uh oh. Harvest Stella. Cultivate a peaceful farm life in the village of Lethe. They keep talking about this game. The death quietus continuously returns, threatening to destroy all. Travel the world and find a way to put an end to the calamity in this life simulation RPG. Along the way, allies with different motives will join your cause. While facing numerous dangers, you'll be It looks very Final Fantasy, but it's not. This ill-fated world. After this presentation, a demo containing the opening days of your farm's first season will be available on Nintendo eShop. Save data can be transferred to the full game once purchased. Harvestella launches on Nintendo Switch. No, it looks four. interesting, but another. This is like the twentieth harvesting game Get ready for that they've shown today. Good time. Is Bayo three hundred years? Umbra Witch Bayonetta was revived in the present day. In the first Bayonetta game, she clashed with angels to recover her lost memories. And There's in some the nice second, music. Confronted demons to save her best friend. Now, in this third installment, she'll fight to protect the world from the sudden invasion of man-made bioweapons called homunculi. Don't worry. She's gone from fighting for herself to fighting for others to fighting for the world. Those who have overcome their past histories with Bayonetta to fight alongside her include the journalist Luca and another Umbra witch, Jean. New ally Viola also joins in on the action. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That would make cry character. Demon summoning. Globe trotting it. Well, she, she looks like a Devil May Cry character. In Bayonetta 3, launching on Nintendo Switch October 28th. Pre orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Uh, I, I don't know if After there was a special edition Nintendo or not. Direct, a new trailer delving more into gameplay will launch on our official YouTube channel. A dark fantasy mystery abounds from the creators of Dongan Rampa. Dongan Rampa? Welcome to the city of perpetual rain. Many cases yeah, remain unsolved in this corporate controlled metropolis. Those who investigate are called master detectives who come from what all What is up with every world. game having characters with cat ears now? Ever since Xenoblade. 
Ever since Nino Blade 2. Mm. What? Meet Yuma, an amnesiac detective. <laughs> and Shinigami, the spirit haunting him after their pact. Shinigami? Dive into these unsolved cases as a trainee at the detective agency. Tower. Thoroughly inspect each crime scene to gather clues and evidence. When you're ready, Shinigami will Oko conjure head. a realm tying the crime scene to the truth. Open that head. A mystery labyrinth. Overcome obstacles and manifestations of mysteries to edge closer to the actual events. However, mystery phantoms will attempt to hinder your progress during each case. Avoid their barrage of falsehoods and slash through contradictions. Uncover the secrets of Master Detective Archives. These games aren't usually like Watching this, first on the are Nintendo they? Switch system. Well, I guess it's a new series. But it has some action to it. I don't think Dongan Rumpa has. This is not on Switch? I thought it was, but I guess not. But what? This this could the latest installment Whatever. in the Resident Evil series is coming to Nintendo Switch as a cloud version. Oh, cloud version. <laughs> Okay. Ethan Winters must face the horror. I was gonna say I, I highly doubt this game can run on Switch because it can barely run on my PC. Daughter. Resident Evil Village Cloud launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. I don't understand how. Well, I guess it, it works with uh, internet on connection. E -shop to pre the, the cloud game. versions of games. The Winters expansion DLC containing a new third-person mode additional story content and more will launch december 2nd additionally three other recent entries in the resident evil series will be available as cloud versions on nintendo switch this year it's an action-packed lineup of nintendo switch games Vanquish foes to avenge your father Sifu. in this kung fu action brawler. I think I got to like the I third or fourth level in Sifu and I just stopped. Tripping and parrying opponents. It's fun, you'll but it's very. Stance and gain the upper hand. It's very annoying. <laughs> Fall in combat and you'll get older and weaker. In turn, however, very cool of a concept for a game, but it's mission. very, very difficult. Can you exact revenge before your time runs out? Sifu pummels its way onto Nintendo Switch November 8th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Experience the crisis score. Up to why why are they showing crisis score here? Not on the PlayStation Direct? RPG. And the PlayStation Center Play? Zack Fair is a young and ambitious soldier operative aspiring to become a hero. Together with Sephiroth and Cloud, he investigates strange I want to see the Switch version of this. I want to see the better version, better this looking version. Remaster features enhanced HD graphics, an updated combat system, and new soundtrack arrangements. Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion launches on Nintendo Switch December 13th. The December 13th? Shoot 'em up Radiant Did they have that release date already? I don't know if it was December, Switch. but I don't know what date it was. Different types of weapons to take down waves of enemies. Defeat multiple enemies of the same color for a chain bonus, or take down differently colored ones for a secret bonus. Rack up these bonuses for a high score. I don't know. Maybe maybe the PlayStation uh, State of Play will go into more detail about high score. I don't, I don't know though. Recruit a team of shipwrecked heroes and make your way out of a derelict space station in this roguelike game set in the endless universe. But it's not as easy as it sounds. You'll have to fend off continuous waves of monsters as you make your way through procedurally generated levels. Complete various quests to unlock new heroes, weapons, station areas, and more. Up to three players in online co-op can attempt to escape their grim fate. Do you have what it takes? Endless Dungeon launches on Nintendo Switch next year. I wonder how many games are only coming out on switch that they showed today the i highly doubt regeneration half begins of them anew. besides like nintendo's own game remaster of tales of symphonia is oh, coming to tales of symphonia switch. remastered interesting the world of silver on is i have this on pc forces called the science to stop them a person known as the chosen one must ascend the tower of salvation 
I really hope that's true. Lloyd soon embarks on a journey with Colette, the current chosen one, and his childhood friend in this beloved action RPG. They'll meet allies along the way, like the wandering aristocrat, Zelos, and a lumberjack who lost her emotions after an experiment, Prisea. Other allies will also join the party. The fate of two interconnected worlds hangs in the balance. I don't know why. I, I played like the first Tales couple of hours of this. Remastered I didn't go back to it. I probably Switch will. Early next I heard it's like one of the... One of... Like the one of the best like story RPGs. That's it? Oh no no no. So this is a port, another port, uh, remastered game. Lego Brick Tales? Disney, uh, they just announced this like the other day. This little, it looks pretty cool, this racing game, Disney racing game. All guys season. All right. Kirby, another Kirby game? Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe is coming to Nintendo Switch. One day, a spaceship crash lands on planet Popstar. To help Magalore is this is a new game or is it like a remaster? I think it's a remaster. Set off on an adventure. In addition to sword, whip, and other familiar copies, they're showing Kirby a lot of love this year. He's had three debut. games this year. Blast if this game comes out this year, or punch him up close. It's packed with other powerful moves as well. The game supports local play for up to four players on the same system. Plus, everyone can play as Kirby while using their favorite copy abilities. There's also a collection of sub-games to play. This includes the new sub-game Magalore's Tome Trackers and returning ones like Samurai Kirby. All sub games can be played with up to four players. An adventure of deluxe proportions awaits. Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. I don't know if this is. A, I think it's a remake. Maybe it's a remake. Pre-orders begin older today game. on Nintendo. This said deluxe, so um, they usually throw deluxe As in there. Part of Kirby's 30th anniversary. A remake for of Kirby's Return to Dreamland will be released. We hope you're looking forward to this game. All right, one last game, most likely. Thank you for watching oh. today's Nintendo. Maybe Dream. not. Oh, maybe not. This next trailer will oh. be our last announcement. <laughs> okay. Please take a look. Breath of the Wild Two. Yep. I think. Yep, Breath of the Wild 2. The Link wakes up again, maybe. It looks like he still has his arm. Here. From the gameplay, oh, there's his, the different arm. Maybe it's, oh, maybe it's the Ocarina of Time thing. Maybe there's a future Link and a, and a past Link. Cause this link, the, that link looks like the the one for Breath of the Wild, and the other one looks like it's an older link, or it's a or it's a, like a more um, Tears of the Kingdom. Well, it's not Breath of the Wild too. Well, it is, but it's 
Tears of the Kingdom. May? May 12th? That is not winter. <laughs> that is not winter 2020. That is not winter 2022 or 2023. But all right. Um, nice direct. Um, no Metroid Prime 4. They announced that game like six years ago. And nothing, maybe next year, that'll be their big game. Maybe. Hopium. But we'll see. Uh, yeah, I didn't really expect too many big games this year or, or for uh, in this direct because I didn't, I didn't really know what Nintendo had coming. Um, but yeah, I think, I think Breath of the Wild, I mean, the Tears of the Kingdom is going to have, is going to have, um, Maybe an Ocarina of Time thing. You go back and forth between. That, that's what it seemed like. Unless unless you play as like that first version of Link. When he was running right there. And then maybe later in the game. You like lose your arm. Because it looked like his, his arm was like wooden or something. Or maybe metal. Because they showed that previously in, in other trailers. His, his arm or whatever. It looked like it was like the Sheikah Slate. Probably like whatever they make the Sheikah Slate out of. Sheikah Slate out of. Is his arm? I don't know. Um, Xenoblade 3 DLC is next month, October. Um, I don't really have much else that I'm looking forward to from Nintendo besides maybe Bayonetta 3, uh, Xenoblade 3 DLC, Breath of the Wild. I mean, uh, Tears of the Kingdom? What did what did it say? I think it was Tears of the Kingdom. Um What else? I don't really know what else that they even showed. It was like just it was they they need to start pacing these directs better because I, I, I really forgot what they announced. But it probably wasn't anything that I'm looking forward to. It was it was okay. I didn't I didn't mind this direct. It was at least we got some dates. Hopefully they don't push nothing back anymore. Um We'll see. But yeah, I'll, I'm going to end the stream right now. And then later on at at like 2.45 p.m. PST, I'll come back on and stream the state of play. Hopefully, hopefully PlayStation has better info on what they have coming for the, for PlayStation 5, PS4, or whatever. Um, with the Crisis Core, I, I didn't think they were going to show Crisis Core here uh, since it's a Square Enix sony type of thing but they they just they just they didn't even they just casually threw out the release date i don't know if they really if they had the release date i don't think i think that was the first time of of us hearing about the crisis core release date i'm pretty sure um we'll see uh but yeah i'm gonna end the stream and i'll be back later to talk about the state of play and whatnot but thank you guys for joining i do appreciate it you guys have a good day